Local drinking water contaminated. That startling announcement coming from the Mobile Area Water and Sewer System. WKRG News 5 Shimani Baker is joining us. Ma's customers should get a warning letter about chemicals found in the water, Shimani, if they haven't already. Yes, that's correct. And this is a copy of that letter. And residents I spoke with are very concerned. The letter breaks down the contaminants and the higher than normal levels found in the water supply. I spoke with Brandon Williams, a Mobile resident, who says he and his wife were scrolling through Facebook when they saw people posting and talking about a water notice letter that they had received in the mail from Moz regarding the contamination. He says they didn't think much of it until they received a letter of their own this morning. It worries you. You know, you, you were like, what is this? So you read the letter and it's like, okay, drink bottled water, so it's really concerning. In the letter, it says the Environmental Protection Agency issued a new lifetime advisory for four PAS compounds, and that recent testing shows at least one of those compounds in the drinking water were at levels above the set advisories. Cade Kistler from Mobile Bay Keeper says the substance is called PFAS, which are a group of chemicals that are used in a lot of different things like waterproof jackets, food wrappers, and cleaning products. If you consume too much of it, it can cause health issues to people's immune and cardiovascular system, human development, and could even cause cancer. But this isn't just a problem in Mobile. This is something that's happening all over the U.S. right now. So this drinking water standard was just decreased greatly, this health advisory. Um, and so communities all around the U.S. are grappling with how to deal with this. So in the short term, people can put water filters in their home. Kistler also says that this could be an environmental justice issue because those that can afford it can get those filters and those who can't are still dealing with these impacts. In a fact sheet from the United States EPA, it says that the water systems not only in Mobile but across the world are working to reduce exposure to PFAS by closing contaminated wells, changing the rates of blending of water sources, and installing technology that remove PFAS from water. We also talked to a spokesperson from Alabama Department of Environmental Management. They said that Moz had to send out the notice, but it was not to alarm the public, more so to bring awareness. Moz is said to hold a press conference on the water contamination in the next few days. Live in studio, Shimani Baker, WKRG News 5.